a few tricks in Camtasia Studio 8 to make sure you get a nice crisp image and your zoom and panning doesn't jump all over the show when you move from track to track. The first thing is to make sure you choose recording dimensions. I go for the standard setting of 1280 by 720 anyway, but I make sure just in case something went wrong I go recording dimensions and OK. The first step is to go through the video and take out all the bits you don't want. Don't do any zoom and panning first. So I'll do that here. I'll go through the video, find the bits I don't want and remove them. Right, so that's done. I've got it down to about two minutes now. And you can see all the little splits. So I've taken out all the bits I don't need. Now, what I'm going to do is zoom out so I can see this whole timeline and select everything. So I just click on the one side and drag across. So you can see it's all selected because it's all blue. And the next thing I do before I start my zooming and panning is I right click and I group it. So the advantage of doing it this way now is any zooming and panning will be for the entire group. So any transition from one split to the other will be seamless. Another tip, at the beginning, if you look over here, because I chose that standard size, you can see I've got some bits that I don't need. Now, don't readjust this size. That's just going to screw up the focus of your video. What you need to do is zoom and pan right at the beginning and use this side here to go to the section that you want and always make sure you keep the same proportions. Right, so I'll start my video from there. It's always better to adjust on this side. Now that zooming and panning is going to stay the same no matter where I am in the group. Okay, you can see over here nothing jumps back. So now I can go through and sort out all my zooming and panning. At that point, take them into there. And then when I get to the next point, I'll zoom out to where I want it and carry on. And you'll notice that the zooming stays the same even though it's jumping across a split. The other advantage is then you've got the group so you can move this left and right and put in your titles and whatever you want to do. Well, that's worked a treat for me so I hope it helps.